Hello, Polter Extractors. Why don't you introduce yourself to the many believers, ghost hunters, and the investigators of the paranormal? Well, I'm a Dr. Tim Hansen, part of the Polter Extracting team. We've just recently put on a show that you're going to hear all about. We're here in one of the home bases of where we first got into things, which we'll probably delve into later. I have a doctorate in spookology, which I brought with me today to show you. I don't know if you can get that on the camera, but. We uh, actually learnt off the great man Derek Akora himself and uh, have been nothing but more than respectful towards him and are very excited at the things that we're doing. Hopefully today we might catch a few more of you to be watching the show. Hi, uh, I'm Dr Richard Long. Um, for sure Obviously, an abbreviation of Richard is Dick, so Long Dick, or my friends call me Dick Poulter. Um, I have proof that I am actually a genuine doctor with my doctorate. I carry it around with me everywhere I go. Studied under the great master, Derek Okora. Um, need us to say, I have all the qualifications and I love ghost hunting. So when did you first encounter the paranormal and what got you started on ghost hunting? Very good question. First encounter with the paranormal was an encounter I shall never forget. I was six years old. One of the most scariest, terrifying moments of my life. I won't go too much into detail now. Um, you might find out more later. You, obviously if you see some of the episodes I'll go into it more then. But it was that first experience what led me to where I am today, hunting ghosts. And um, yeah, I'm very successful. Well, quite a personal question if you knew what had happened to me during my first encounter, but I don't really like delving into it too much. I mean, maybe if you continue to watch the episode, I might come out of it and you might find out what happened to me. But I was about four years old. It was very unpleasant and it led me on a journey that eventually led to me to meet Dr. Dick, which we'll probably talk about later on. But for now, yeah, I was about four years old, and that's about all I'd really like to go in about it, really, to be honest. And uh, that was what spurred me on in my later teenage years to start hunting ghosts. Could you give us some examples of things that had happened, Jess? Um... Well, obviously, I don't want to go too far into detail of things that have happened, otherwise no one's going to tune in to watch the show. But I will say you will see some very, very strange things. I mean, something that constantly seems to happen to me is possession of animals. <laughs> Sounds crazy, right? But I promise you, if you watch, you'll love it. I mean, we might even give you a quick sneak clip during, during this interview space just to give you a little something. But I was once possessed by a cow. And I mean full out, I went down, I, I didn't remember much of it from what I was told by the cameraman and fellow crew members. It was a very funny but peculiar moment. But yeah, if you uh, continue to watch, I'm sure you'll be able to see some of that. Yeah, sure. Um, off the top of my head, I get possessed by mainly sex demons and all sorts of ghostly ghouls. Um, my fellow doctor, he's... He once was possessed by a cow, and I was possessed by a young milksman. Um, I'm not going to give too much away, but I'm sure we'll give you a short little clip of what happened there. But that's just one example of hundreds, and you're really going to want to see these. It's coming through. You right? Sam. Doctor, okay. Uh, Sam, Sam, Samuel. Something. Sam. 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 Samuel. Sam. Sam. Oh. Oh. oh, you're right. Ah. Oh. 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 
over. Oh. Oh. What happened? Well, we connected. Oh. I've got the, the submerged for grass. Wow. Oh. What a connection. I just sapped every last bit of strength out of me. Whoa. Doctor, I, th I think you might want to go lay down. I was possessed by a young milk boy. I don't want to talk about it right now. Wow. Hmm, would you go deeper on your first encounter with us? <laughs> See, I already told you that one was personal. No, no, honestly, uh, maybe if you watch the episodes, I'll go into that one, but I'm really, really not looking to put that out there yet. It's very, very personal to me. <laughs> now, you know, you know I can't do that. I mean, I've already told you it's a very terrifying experience. If you want to know more, it's all revealed on our show, The Polar Extractors. Subscribe. At what point did you decide to start hunting together? How did you meet your fellow doctor? That's a really good question. <clears throat> well, basically, uh, the very, very strong psychic medium, Derek Cora, had obviously had real big vibes during 2008, and he picked up on uh, both my psyche and uh, Professor Dick Poulter's psyche. During this time, he came to us, he met up with us, we all went for a meal together, he explained to us his ideas and what he'd like to teach us. He then took us into the university where we learnt spookology and got our degrees and doctorates. That is pretty much how it came to us meeting each other. The, the click was chemistry out of nowhere, you know, we really got on, everything about it just worked. So we started talking and we thought, why don't we hunt ghosts together? We started hunting ghosts together, things started happening, really crazy things, and then we thought, hey, why don't we make a show out of it and share it with people? We know there's a lot of you out there that are interested in this type of stuff. If you just subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter, like our Facebook pages, you can get all of it below on the links. Make sure you do it, man. You'll find out so much stuff, more than how we met. You'll find out the things we've gone through. You can become part of that journey. It'll be really exciting. What do you feel is different from your show and other ghost hunting shows? If there's one thing I've learned and I've been taught at university is Derek taught us there's a lot of phonies out there and I can say we are 100% genuine. What you see from us is real. Raw emotion, fear, excitement and we can genuinely connect. Derek has taught us how you know, phonies tarnish this, this guild almost. We are a guild of unique individuals and only a select few can connect. And I've been taught by one of the best, Derek Okora. That's what separates us from the phonies. Well, very good questions today. I'd like to know who ripped them because he's probably a genius, but um, I think the main, the main thing that makes us different is how authentic it is. I mean, real emotions, real, real, real tears, real spit, real blood, you know, everything we really put into it. Because we were taught by the best, Derek Accor. He showed us the many phonies out there, the many fakes. I mean, you get other shows that we don't want to mention and put down because we're above that. But you get other shows where they really, they do stone throwing, they do all kinds of trickery to make people like you believe it. And I find that very insulting to you. We all do. I mean, and... Uh, other than the fact that we're very real in our show, the other thing that makes our show better than any show out there is the fact that it has two genuine spookologists that have learned and got degrees in what we do, which is hunting ghosts. So yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up. What do you feel you personally bring to the Polter Extractors? Okay. Uh, well, I actually bring a lot to the Polter Extractors because my speciality is actually in sex demons. That's what I did my doctorate in. I did a 50,000 word dissertation and it was, you know, a, a first degree in that. So I can bring the aspect of, you know, succubuses, incubuses, possessions. Um, there's only a rare few that have that ability and I am one of them. Uh, well, I mean, for starters, obviously, I have my doctorate in spookology, which I got from many years of studying at the university under Derek Accor. I um, have a real great ability to tap into animals and animals to tap into me. I mean, as I explained earlier on, there's been times when I've been possessed by animals themselves when I go blank, but I become that animal for the time that they're inside of me. Um, 
Other than that, I can bring real stability, especially to Dick Poulter, who at times can be quite emotional because the ghosts just flow through him and they really do take over that core of him. But, yeah, I mean, me alone, I couldn't bring much. But as a team, we really do bring it all, I think. And you're not going to find any other show out there like this. Not, not, not when it comes to spooks, I can promise you that. Subscribe. What are you afraid of? Cemeteries. Ghosts. Hmm, what's your favourite scary movie? Hmm. My favourite scary movie? It's got to be the all-time favourite. Ghost. It's got everything. Drama. A ghost for one. And Patrick Swayze. It's a good one. I mean, I've got many, many uh, favourite scary movies, but the one that shines out to me the most would have to be The Shawshank Redemption, because Weeks after watching that, I had nightmares about Will Smith's acting. It was terrible. So yeah, that is definitely Shawshank Redemption is the scariest movie I've ever watched. Do you ever worry that spirits would follow you home? All the time, to be honest with you. And, you know, on many occasions they have. But I know how to deal with them and I can banish them. That's one of the abilities I have, thanks to Derek. He has taught me very well and I'm aware of all the dangers and it's part of the job yeah yeah I do a lot actually I mean uh, not for my sake because I mean I know how to handle them but I worry for my son and my family's sake you know because uh, it is a real danger on the job but when police are police in the streets they don't worry about the crime that could kill them because they're there to do a job so when we're out there hunting ghosts I need to be fully prepared for anything that might come back to us. And me and Dr. Dick, we're not afraid, but we are cautious. So if that answers your question. So what can we expect from the first episode and when will we be able to view this? Okay, well, the first episode you can expect, you know, demons, possessions, hauntings, Luigi boards. I don't want to give too much away, but it's, quite frankly, the, one of the scariest moments of my life. To view it, you're gonna have to subscribe. And that's all I can say, really. I can't tell you when it's coming out, but it's definitely worth subscribing for. Well, uh, it will be going up very, very soon. The best thing for you to do to be able to view it would be to subscribe to our channel, which we know you're all gonna do after this. Um, what to expect? I don't want to go into too much detail, but it will be in a very haunted location, locally in England. We will be going to a haunted hotel, and the things that are going to happen will shake the foundations of everything that you've ever believed in as you've grown. The main thing I can tell you to do is subscribe to the Poulter Extractors on YouTube, like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, you name the social network and we're on it. And uh, just to chuck a little uh, tidbit out for you we may have a certain celebrity that helps bring us into this this world of ghost hunting on the show via telephone subscribe one last question just for you dr dick i suppose you've heard the rumor and you and patrick swayze dating is there any truth to this well you do know patrick swayze is a, a spirit and I can obviously connect, and <laughs> but a true gentleman never kisses and tells. Well, there you have it. Coming from me, the camp internet demon. Coming soon, the Polter Extractors. As.